Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And since we're done with our letter of the week series, I thought of coming here and talking to you guys about what I've planned next for my son. Um, so I'm gonna try and bring the essence of Montessori school environment back in our house in our own way which suits us and our family and our lifestyle. a typical monastery school you'll see that they have areas dedicated to a particular category so they'll have shelves only for practical life they'll have a shelf only for sensorial so on and so forth Obviously, it gets difficult to do it due to lack of space, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dedicate a week or two for that particular Montessori category, starting with practical life. So for a week or two from today, our shelf is going to be all about practical life works. Before I start, uh, you know, planning his activities or setting up his shelf, I always like to refer to my uh, activity planner. This is a free download. I'm going to put the link in the description box below for you guys. And uh, it has close to 400 plus activities. And whenever I'm out of ideas, I like to refer, you know, to this planner. And it really gives me some more ideas that I can, you know, put together for his shelf. Okay, so... There are loads of practical life activity ideas that I'm going to um, use for the shelf today. All right, guys, so let's see what practical life activities are there on the shelf. So the first one here is our wet pouring work. Okay, so we have water here and steel pitchers and he just has to uh, transfer the water from here to here. These are things that he's been doing for years and he still loves it. He'll not do it uh, the way he used to do it when he was younger. He would probably do it for a couple of times and that's about it. But he still loves to do such activities. So I tend to keep all these simple basic practical life activities on his shelf every now and then. And just a sponge in case uh, there are any spills so he can wipe it. Then here we have a scooping or a spooning work okay so just transferring these seed shells from here to here and then here a work with a dropper okay so i just have some colored water and this little container here so first he has to open the cork okay use the dropper to transfer the colored water from here to here and in case of spills he can use this to um wipe it then over here we have a Montessori inspired dressing frame okay so we have five different works okay so we have velcro zip so on and so forth and this one I got from a Facebook group called creative express okay so um, this is a very simple and a really good way to work on the dressing frames so that is that then some cutting work So here we have a couple of the scissors and um, you know this is how he likes to do his cutting works nowadays so uh, carefully cut these squares okay without uh, trying to cut the pictures okay so um, this is I've just kept few sheets that I think he might enjoy so he will you know carefully cut on the lines so you have a picture of penguin, a picture of butterfly, so on and so forth. Plus I have a few straws here which he also loves to cut. So that's our cutting tray. Then over here we have some folding work. So just a few of his napkins that he loves to fold. Okay, again such a great practical life work. Over here we have some mirror uh, cleaning and scrubbing work. Okay, so we have some water, some toothpaste that he likes to use as a scrubber. Okay, a scrubber here and a sponge. And then here we have a sponge squeezing work. Okay, so this is a sponge. So you'll dip it in the water and squeeze it out here. And then down here we have a punching work. So I have these foam papers and some of his markers. So he can just color, scribble, doodle on these papers and then punch holes using the punching machine and clip a binder ring so he can make a little booklet for himself. 
Then this one is actually a piece of one of our broken furniture which I was just about to throw but I thought that this would actually be used as a sewing or lacing frame so I've just uh, tied a ribbon and he can just you know try his hand at lacing or you know weaving so that's what we're gonna try and do okay so that is that and over here just a simple work so we have some rubber bands here and a plastic cup and here's the try and put the rubber bands here and over here this is actually going to be in our kitchen but i thought of just showing it to you guys so i pulled it out here uh so basically he'll help me to break open the egg and biscuit okay, and then he's gonna help me make an omelet so those were our super simple practical life works um these are the activities that a child of any age group would really enjoy i hope this video gave you guys some ideas and inspiration do let me know if you guys have any suggestions or feedback and i'll see you guys around until then bye